Hi folks, I'm going to give you a quick demo of how Hasura helps you get GraphQL instantly on a Postgres database. I have an existing database on Heroku. These are my tables and I want to query this database with GraphQL from my app. So now I'm going to deploy the Hasura GraphQL engine on Heroku. And once the image is pushed, let's deploy it. And that's deployed. Let's check if this is actually live. Seems that our GraphQL engine is running. Now I can open up a console to play with GraphQL in my database. I'm going to send the Hasura GraphQL engine that I just deployed. And so if I help the database, these are the tables that are there in my database. I only want GraphQL on the artist and albums. There's data inside these tables already. I can start making GraphQL queries. But I also want artists along with their albums. So let me add that as a relationship. And now I can start querying them from albums. So it's great that I can start querying my database without any work with GraphQL, but this is not really usable from an application unless I have access control. So let's try out a simple access control rule. Let's say for example in my application, users are artists and I only want users to be able to fetch their own data. So that means that each artist should only be able to fetch their own artist profile data and their own albums. In this case, if I'm artist 116, I should only be able to fetch my information, that is my name, and albums that belong to me. To set this access control rule up, let's go to the artist table and add a permission for the user role. And I'm going to set the permission saying that if the ID is equal to X Hasura user ID, which is a dynamic value that comes in as a part of the request. And if this particular condition is met for any particular row, the user should get those rows as the response. For each of those rows where the condition is met, we would like both columns to be accessible. Now let's try this out. This is a normal request where you can fetch all of the artist information. However, as soon as I add the X Hasura role, which is user, and that's the name of the role that we used, and the metadata value called X Hasura user ID, which we can set to, let's say, 14, you'd notice that only this particular row is accessible. So Hasura automatically adds the access control rule to the GraphQL query that you make from your app. Let's do the same thing for album. And for the album, what we'd like is that the artist ID should be equal to the user ID. And now let's go ahead and try that out. If I include albums here, I'm going to be able to access the album that belongs to Bruce. But even if I fetch the album information directly, you'll notice that the user ID 14 is only able to fetch albums that belong to user ID 14. Your GraphQL backend on Postgres is all set up. Go ahead and build your app.